Good morning. It is 26 degrees outside and I am confused by the weather. If you are new here, <laughs> I am Lindsay. I follow a low carb, high protein, moderately high-ish fat diet that I classify as ketovore. I have been doing this for quite a while now and I just thought I would take you along with me as I share what I eat today. Um, and yeah, I said the weather is confusing me because it is confusing me very much. Last week I was wearing flip-flops and it was 60 degrees. Today it's 26. Yesterday it was flurrying all morning. It was just like constant snowflakes. They weren't sticking to the ground because the ground was too warm, but still. The weather has a confuse. Anyway, um, today is kind of a little busy day for us. We have piano, we have swim, we have our home group, we have tons of things going on, plus schoolwork for, um, for homeschooling and keeping the house tidied up and producing all of the foods and feeding tiny humans and, you know, all, all of the regular daily activities. Um, but I don't know, I just felt inspired to pick up the camera. It's been a minute since I have felt inspired to do so. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to mention really quickly. I got a comment, rather a question, in a video a little while back, and I have been terrible at getting back to comments lately. Just things going on, and my brain has just been like, bleh, bleh. <laughs> so I have not done the comment replies as of yet. But one of the commenters asked, like, why do you drink black coffee? Why black coffee? Um, well, to be honest... <laughs> It's for my own good. <laughs> I will add cream to every cup of coffee if allowed, and I was consuming a boatload of calories by doing that. So I decided to try drinking it black, and I really quite enjoy it now. And uh, so, yeah, sometimes I add a couple drops of stevia to it. Sometimes I'll just add like a peppermint extract if I want sort of like a different flavor profile. But for the most part, we just got us a cup of, of unadulterated black coffee. And, um, and it just simplifies life so much, so very much. I'm not counting extra carbs because all heavy whipping cream has carbs. I'm not consuming a boatload more dairy like I was before. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it just, it just feels like it fits in this stage of my life. So there we go. All right. I've been rambling for a couple minutes now. I'm going to go figure out what I'm going to make for breakfast for us. And I'll, I'll come back to you whenever I have that ready. I have felt very uninspired for breakfast today, and I'm in the middle of doing a video for the Ninja Creamy ice cream bases, and I just spun this through. It was in the freezer from yesterday, um, so I spun this through the machine, and I think I'm going to have this for my breakfast. What is in here, you may ask? I plan to have that ice cream video out before this What I Eat in a Day video, so you can check that out for the exact recipe. But this is egg whites, like liquid egg whites that I've cooked. It is almond milk. There is a little bit of salt, some cocoa powder, some um, chocolate extract flavoring from Olive Nation, and some sweetener and a little bit of acacia fiber for texture. And oh my word, there might be something else in there. I think there may be vanilla as well. Regardless, the exact recipe video, I will try to link that. Hopefully I did put that out before this video. But this tastes like a Wendy's Frosty. It's delightful. This right here is half the recipe, maybe a little bit less. So it's roughly three quarters of a cup of a um, of liquid egg whites, which I think is four servings, which I don't know. How much protein is that? Let me go calculate. And we're back. So this is roughly 20 grams of protein in this pint of ice cream. I know I'm going to be kicking myself in the rear for the remainder of the day because I will be craving sweets. But I'm also so uninspired and I don't want to do eggs. I don't want to do, um, you know, just, ah, I don't know. I'm just not interested in anything else right now. So ice cream for breakfast it is. Can I tell you that it is not lost on me that I just discussed earlier that the weather has confused me mightily. It was 26 this morning and I am having ice cream. 
ice cream for breakfast. <laughs> Sometimes I defy logic. Mm. All right, we are off to go swim. Um, yeah, we've just been chugging right along. Haven't had anything else to eat. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm running behind. We're gonna go. Alrighty, I need some electrolytes today. I am going to, I cannot open that one handed. Hold please, let me get you situated here. So I'm going to use my Redmond Relight Mixed Berry. Love this stuff. It took me a while to jump on the bandwagon, but we are here. Okay, one scoop. And if we can actually thread that properly, we're gonna snag four ounces of hot water to help it dissolve well. So I filled this up with cool water from my fridge. The hot water helps the electrolytes dissolve better. And then the cool water helps to take the heat down. And I'm gonna add in my J. Crow's iodine droplets. This you should not put into hot water directly, I have learned. So that cool water helps to counteract the hot water. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I am at six drops a day, six to eight usually. It doesn't look super pleasant whenever you first start mixing it. Um, and then all of a sudden everything dissolves well in the water and it just looks like a glass of water, but it tastes delightful and it's supporting my cellular health. So I'm going to start drinking this. I'm going to sort out some lunch because I am starving after swimming and I will share that with you momentarily. I have made a sandwich on my egg white bread. This is meat and mayonnaise and egg white bread. So this is pretty much pure protein and fat. I did one serving of the um, natural choice uncured hard salami. That gives me six grams of protein there. I had one slice of ham that is gone now. And then three slices of the turkey. I cannot remember if it was six grams per serving on that one or if it was more than six, but I'll have to go look at the box. Anyway, so that right there is approximately 12 plus grams of protein. And then I don't remember what the macros were on my egg white bread, but um, I think per serving or for one sixth, that was, uh, no, that was not one sixth. That was less than, it was one twelfth of my recipe. I want to say that's probably only about five grams of protein. So not doing the greatest today on protein yet, but I'm going to start with this, see where it lands me as far as my hunger is concerned. And if I need more, I shall sort that out. My sandwich was delicious, but I went ahead and pulled out the next package that I have of the oven roasted turkey. This has 11 grams of protein in it. So I was doing better than I expected. So six, 11, we're at 17. That slice of ham, that singular slice of ham, the ham does not have as much protein, I don't believe. So I'm only gonna classify that as a two gram protein increase. So we're at 19 plus whatever it was in the bread, probably about five or six grams. So we're sitting around 24, 25 grams of protein for lunch. I probably need more since the uh, breakfast I had had roughly 20-ish grams. So we're not doing too well and it's already one o'clock. I'm gonna have to find some kind of protein to, to really kind of bolster that macronutrient for me today. It's almost two o'clock, so I'm gonna have a cup of coffee. Technically, this is my third cup of coffee. I forgot to show you my second cup, but ta-da cup of black coffee and I am not feeling hungry. I was just feeling a little bit chilled. It's already in the 50s outside, but with it starting off at all of 26 degrees this morning, I um, just kind of have a chill on my bones. So I'm going to drink this coffee and go sit down for a little bit. Hey, I finally got a shower. You know, we swam earlier today and then I had to do the laundry. I don't like to shower whenever I've got the laundry running, just 
give the uh, hot water heater a chance to actually catch back up again. So it's been a little bit. And the coffee warmed me up, the shower warmed me up, and now I realize just how hungry I really am. I'm sitting at a little less than 50 grams of protein today, and that's no bueno. It's no bueno. So I dug through the fridge. <laughs> I found a whole bunch of egg white wraps that I had made, I don't know, three days ago or so. And I am going to have those. There are five left. And I need to actually go through, calculate how many grams of protein roughly it might be there. But I also wanted to show you, I made a little bit of a strawberry sauce. I guess we're calling it strawberry sauce. What it is, is that's a half cup of frozen strawberries, probably less than half a cup of water, a teaspoon of beef gelatin, and a little bit of salt. And uh, I microwaved that. I'm letting it kind of cool down so it kind of thickens up with that gelatin. I activated that in the microwave for about three minutes. And as it cools down, the gelatin will gel together. And then I plan to pour that atop my crepes right here. I did warm these up in the microwave as well. There are 170 grams of egg white wraps here. So I do need to go calculate the uh, rough estimate on my protein here. So I'll do that. And if I, well, I hope I do that. <laughs> and if I remember to let you know, I will do that. It's not fully um, cooled just yet like it's still warm to the touch here but I am going to just roll with it I could do some kind of a low carb syrup but I just wanted the taste of strawberries do you ever have those moments where you're like is is the lens blurry are my eyes the blurry thing like why is this not why is this not focusing on my face is it my eyes because in the viewfinder, like, I struggle. I'm, I'm like, how much closer do I need to hold this camera for it to, like, focus on my face? Why are we blurry? Come on, Canon. I mean, I can get this close, and then you can see, like, all the pores. Is that is that what it's going to have to be? <sighs> I'm afraid to, like, look away from the viewfinder for fear that if I do look away, it's going to go fuzzy. But I also can't tell. Is it my eyeballs? <laughs> No, I, th I think, well, that is just irritating. I solved all of my technical issues by just cycling the power on the camera. All better. So I have to sort out exactly what I am bringing to our home group for dinner tonight. I don't know if I mentioned it this morning at the beginning when I sort of like was running through what all we have to accomplish today, but I do need to figure out what I'm bringing for that. Um, we do a, a fellowship meal kind of a thing in our home group every time that we gather together. And tonight the menu is hot dogs and brats. Someone's doing macaroni and cheese. There's potato, no, not potato salad, pasta salad. There will be chips. Someone said they're bringing sauerkraut and dessert. Someone else is bringing baked beans and green beans. So it's going to be a little bit slim pickings for us on the keto <laughs> train. So I need to sort of decide what all I'm going to bring with us, partly to share and then something else for myself to supplement my protein intake. After kind of like going through and mentally adding some macro numbers up, I'm sitting at less than 75 grams of total protein today. That is pitiful given the fact that I really would like to hit 50, 150 grams of protein every day, if not more. I um, So I really got to bolster that and I don't think a brat or two is really going to do the trick. So I may need to make protein milk. I've shared that before here on my channel. It is basically almond milk, whey protein isolate, um, and then some sort of a sweetener and some flavorings. Sometimes I add a little fiber in to thicken it up. Other times I don't. It's kind of a spur of the moment. What do I feel like putting into this milk? And the key being always have protein, always have some liquid. <laughs> so I might do that, do a double serving of the whey protein 
which would put me, uh, would give me 50 more grams of protein. I'm gonna have to figure it out. I'm gonna have to figure it out. <laughs> I made a box full of fresh cut vegetables, the cucumbers, carrots, celery, a little bit more of the cucumbers, some of the um, little mini sweet peppers. So that's what we're contributing tonight. There are a lot of people contributing, so that's about the only thing that we, uh, we have to contribute. I have four eggs. I am going to do simple scrambled eggs for myself before we leave. Each egg has approximately six grams of protein. Therefore, this is 24 grams of protein. So I'll be at almost, I'll be at 95-ish grams of protein by the time I finish eating this. Here I have my, oh, let me see if I can't, oh, I can do it. I have my bacon grease. I've taken to just using a silicone brush and swiping it across so I can be, um, I don't know, a little bit more judicious with the volume of my bacon grease I go through. So I've got that. I'm going to continue to scramble those up, cook them here on my skillet, and I will show you them all plated up. Okay, baby. Alrighty, here are my four eggs. I have some of, you guessed it, my homemade mayonnaise and a little bit of Cholula, one of my two favorites. I'm going to eat this and, oh, I didn't, I did not salt my eggs. I plum forgot. I'm gonna add just a sprinkle of some real salt. Sprinkles. We made it home. <laughs> it was a good time. Um, we always have a good time. And I had one bratwurst, a tiny bit of some um, sauerkraut. It was actually pretty solidly good sauerkraut. There were only like four ingredients in it. Um, it was like a garlic sauerkraut so it had some garlic it had some salt pepper and cabbage in it and then whatever culture they put to culture it and it was like live cultures not um you know the stuff that's it was refrigerated sauerkraut i don't remember the name of it oh well i had a little bit of that and then i had like i don't know four or five slices of cucumber so i'm gonna have to go kind of guesstimate how many grams of protein the uh, bratwurst was, but I am gonna guess that I am just sitting like right at 100 grams, possibly 105 grams of protein for the day, which is disheartening, but I'm also disinterested in eating anything else for tonight. So we're just gonna call it a night. Just hang the hat right there. All right. I am having no other food for the night, no other drinks other than water and yeah, we're going to call it. So I really appreciate you coming along with me on this What I Eat in a Day video, and I hope to see you in my next one.